Did you know that you can adjust your render settings while the render is actually going? It's true, it's all thanks to a little unknown panel that comes up when you render to a new window with this little option here. Look at that, you hover over it and this line comes up and once you click on it, this whole menu pops up. That's very exciting because it means that we can now adjust values for tone mapping, filtering and the progressive rendering settings on the fly. And this really comes in handy if you've rendered something for a very long time and you think, hey, I wish I had rendered this with a few more iterations, but you didn't. So usually you think you'd have to restart the render right from the beginning, but that's not quite the case. Look at this. If my render now has finished after 100 iterations and you look at the picture and you think, hey, this is more grainy than I thought, you can just crank up the max samples and watch what happens to the resume button on the render window. As soon as you crank that value up, the resume button comes into play and then you can just go and start resuming the render without having to render the previous iterations. This isn't as useful on all these values, so anything under the progressive tab can be adjusted on the fly. Minimum, maximum samples, also the update interval, you might as well crank that up to something like 60 seconds, because that means the render engine doesn't have to update the window and can spend more time rendering. But other values cause the render to start from the very beginning, such as tone mapping. Look at this, if I wanted to adjust the exposure value to something lower, then watch what happens to the iteration count. It goes right back to zero, and also in the window I can see that my render starts grainy again from scratch. So many of these values aren't that useful to adjust on the fly, but it certainly does give you an indication of what would happen if you were to make a change to saturation, gamma and so forth. But the most impressive work that we can do here is literally adjust the progressive samples on the fly. You can also crank the max samples down if you're looking at the render and you think hey I'm actually fine with what it looks like right now. You can just crank that down to zero and that'll cause the render to stop immediately and finish right there. And then if you think hey I need some more just crank it up again, hit resume and off you go. That's today's quick tip. I hope you've learned something new today.